This is conditions. And in this video, I will tell you why this is wrong and how you should actually do it. More you will nest conditions, one inside the other, harder your code will be to read. With the guard closes technique, you will be able to write cleaner and more readable code. Let's start right now. This code is very simple. If we have Wi-Fi, if we are login, and if we are an administrator, then we can go inside the function C admin panel. Otherwise, we will print different things inside the console. But this is pretty bad. Even though the conditions are very simple, this way of nesting if and else statements make it harder to read than it should be. Instead of bouncing our eyes between each if and else statements, we should use instead the guard clauses technique. The goal is to separate the conditions from the function. And this is what I will show you right now. If you reverse the condition of the Wi-Fi and you say, if there is no Wi-Fi, in this way you can put all the nested code right under. Then I will debug print and I will return nothing. And you can do the same thing for the condition login. If the user is not login, then I will debug print and I will return nothing. But we still have one problem. The guard clauses technique is the fact that you can reverse every if else conditions and use the return so the code doesn't go inside the next conditions. Now we need to do the same thing for the condition is admin. So we reverse the condition. If it's not an admin, then we debug print and return nothing. At the bottom, after each condition has been verified, we can add the function C admin panel. Now it's very simple to add new conditions. The code is now cleaner and easier to understand. If you want to write cleaner code or you just want to have tips like this every week, you can subscribe so YouTube will be more likely to show you the next video.